Reading to bright-eyed little kids, giving them one-on-one -on -one time, is Julian Caldwell's happy place. I feel happy only because I really didn't have that. There wasn't a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. So I feel happy because it's like the attention that I wasn't getting, I'm giving back. Right now, Caldwell is a senior at Woodlawn High School, but he would like to turn his happy place into a full-time career in education. It's something that I'm so passionate about. I want to do it. I want to help people that are younger, and I want to be the role model for other kids. Caldwell is one of 30 students in the Teacher Academy of Maryland, or TAM, program at Woodlawn High School. It's a four-year completer program designed to prepare high school students for careers in education. When I first started, I was like, wow, this is like really cool. Like, working with kids is so much fun to me, and I feel like if I do want to become a teacher, I want to make an impact in their lives. Ms. Duin Goldring is teaching students how to do just that with this reading activity for National Read Across America Day. Ms. Goldring helps students practice everything from creating lesson plans to engaging with kids to interning with a mentor teacher in classrooms. It's so exciting and the funny thing is is that sometimes they're like, oh my gosh, I don't think I could ever do this. It's so hard and I say, but you did it. You, you mastered it and they get, then they see I can do this. It's a great feeling and I go home thinking of more things that I can do to inspire them. And inspiring the next generation of teachers is important now more than ever as school districts across our state and across the country continue to grapple with a teacher shortage. Caldwell says he's ready to help fill a critical role in the classroom as soon as he gets his college diploma. And even when like I graduate, I still want to come back to my high school and teach and you know just help better help better my community. Students who complete the TAM program could be eligible for college credits and scholarships at colleges and universities all over our state. In Woodlawn, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL TV 11 News.